Born in Tehran and now based in Los Angeles, Dr. Nina Ansari is a historian, a human rights advocate, and a leading expert in the women's movement on Iran. She left Iran at the onset of the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Nina is the author of the book Jewels of Allah, The Untold Story of Women in Iran, and was recently honored as one of the 21 leaders of the 21st century by Women's E! News. Cyrus M. Copeland, is the author of several books. He was born in Washington, D.C., the son of an American father and an Iranian mother. He moved to Iran with his family at the age of 10. At the dawn of the Islamic Revolution, his father, Max Copeland, was in prison and accused of being a CIA agent. Praised by the Los Angeles Times as one of the most potent voices in exile, Susan Dehim is a composer, a vocalist, and a performance artist who has been at the forefront of progressive music internationally for over three decades. Women in Iran actually outnumber men in higher education. I always say the Iranian woman who accomplishes something uh, in post-revolutionary Iran is to be applauded so much more than any one of us in this country. <laughs> What can those of us who know that the, the story that's being portrayed by, by mainstream media is not necessarily correct do to help bridge the gap further for people that don't know? Persian cucumbers, Persian cats, Persian carpets, Persian this, Persian that. But what do you think of when you hear the word Iran? Nukes, Shanksons, people with their fist in the air. That's the version of Iran that you have to embrace and change by announcing yourself as being fully Iranian-American. Very, very nice. All of us have the power to be a media entity of one and do something to, to have our voices heard and the voices of help other people have their voices heard. This kind of fundamental dichotomy between a regime, the Iranian regime that demonizes America, and the Iranian people that actually love Americans. When you compare it to our approach in Saudi Arabia, where you have a regime that's actually very friendly to Americans, but a people that are fundamentally anti-American. Unfortunately, the predominant mainstream media does not talk about what goes on with the real people of Iran. What's the nuance behind your title, Jewels of the Law? I'm saying that women in Iran have been denigrated under the banner of Shiite Islam, and I'm trying to offset that by saying they are the gemstones of the Creator. Awesome. Okay.